Then we have a lovely burger here for me. Oh, camera on camera again. This is what happens when you go out with vloggers. It's just cameras. And next year, we will be a new and better version of me, CZ Fit 2.0. and welcome back to my channel so it is Sunday the 6th of May and it is also the Mecca Classics so it's a regional show today which a lot of my friends are competing in so I'm gonna go and support them go see them on stage which I am so freaking excited about because I've watched all their preps obviously like on Instagram on YouTube just followed along and I'm just so excited to be in the crowd and just see them on stage and see all their hard work. It's been a hectic morning. I've pretty much just been sat at my desk getting all my check-ins done. It is a Sunday, so it is one of my busy check-in days, but I've made sure that all my clients have been responded to. And I've also meal prepped. I've just got all my meals in this little Tupperware, so I'm bringing all my meals to the show and I'm just gonna go and munch away on my chicken and zucchinis. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is a low day. It's rest day. So pretty much like minimal carbs, but it's fine Like I'll be at the show. I won't, probably won't be very hungry I'll be too excited to see everyone to really think about food I'm gonna go head off now I'm gonna walk to Old Street Station meet Alia there and the show is at Lee Valley So we're just gonna take it over there. It should take around like 40 minutes. Hopefully we'll get there like Half an hour before the girls get on stage and I will catch you guys Probably in the Uber when we see Alia and then at Lee Valley. Um, it's crazy. I haven't been there in a year, like almost a year now since my first show. Also, I can't believe I've managed to push out my last, no, not my last meal, my first meal until now. Usually I have to have it around 10, but because I've just been working, I haven't really thought about eating. So hopefully I'm going to feel a bit more full during the day. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to probably eat whilst I walk because I am feeling quite hungry now. Um, I'll have my cold chicken and zucchini on the way. Living the best prep life here. Guys, so we are now in the Uber, um, and what time is it? 12.40. 12.41. 12.41. 12.43 actually it says on the Uber. Oh, my phone Who's right? 12.41, my phone's right. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what my watch says, because. <laughs> Oh, now I have makeup on my watch. Yeah. Anyways, we are in the Uber off to Lee Valley. I'm so excited. Any updates? Look at my yeah. tricep. I'm Look at her tricep pop. Uh, I have the donuts with me that we're gonna. Yeah, she's bought a donut girl, has bought everyone donuts. Yeah. Um, I swear, like, you're just, you have to work at Donut Temple just for this, like, free donuts. Literally, that's why I've been there for the past four years. Yeah. The only reason I haven't quit is just because. Yeah, because I swear donut time is quite overpriced. I mean, their donuts are massive. It's four fifty for a donut. I would never pay for that. I would, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I say that now and I would. <laughs> yeah, like I say I wouldn't, but if I go to a store, I probably would. She's gonna be working there forever so that oh. I can make sure I also get free donuts because I'm not gonna pay $4.50 for a donut. Also picked up this because Heine showed me these, um, the green monster. Basically, I never really drink energy drinks. Still don't really, but uh, she showed me this and honestly, it's so good. It tastes like sour, it tastes like the rain sour apple, um, which is what I lived off last prep. I remember like it just got me through my workouts. It was like, it was almost like a drug to me. This might become the new sour apple rain. Um, it probably won't be because I just CBA buying energy drinks to be honest. I think it's a waste of money. Uh, <laughs> I, I this girl buys day. this girl buys it's like hacks of monsters from Ocado, like bulk orders them. We That's should find like a dollar. monster. We should find a monster dealer, and then I'll become a monster sponsor. Me. <laughs> Same thing um, for me. But I'm not gonna drink that yet because we have a car ride to get through, and we both have small bladders and need to pee every like ten minutes. So I'm gonna keep this for when we get to the show. But yeah, it's gonna be surreal like watching a show rather than being in a show. I will keep you guys updated and I'll show you guys what a sh like what it is like behind the scenes at a show, I guess, because you've only seen from the other side of things from my prep. But this is like yeah, this, this is like you getting a show for free. I paid for tickets. You guys are watching it for free, so you better freaking like Don't it. Don't skip her ads. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is how you can pay me back. Don't skip my ads and like and subscribe because we're almost at 10k. So yeah, You're see you soon. Okay, guys. So we have arrived at Lee Valley where we arrived ages ago. We walked in. So wait, we lined up. 
walked in and were like, we're ready to see the show. And they're like, get show. out. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we saw Men's. Men's was supposed to end like half an hour before we even got here. Mm -hmm. And it still just started. So as usual, they're running really freaking late. Which means probably a late night. If you follow me long enough, you know that I sleep early. Like, we all sleep very early. Um, so it's probably gonna be a late night for us here. Probably just late gonna... being like 8, 9 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, context. Late being 8, 9 p.m. But then we are gonna go out for food. So. That's true. Yeah. Well, like, they will be. I will be joining. I'll just have my chicken. I'll join you soon. Yeah, true. From like under her mini costume. Yeah. So <laughs> that's going to be fun. And it's gonna be just as strict as my prep. So, yes. <laughs> not gonna be alone. Anymore. I'll suffer with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're just waiting outside, hungry. But at least it's not raining. That is true. At least it's not raining. Last baby year, spoke too soon, but at least it's not. <laughs> touch, touch wood. I don't know where wood is. Uh, but yeah, no. Last year when we were competing, it was like raining. It was cold. It was dark. It was just everything you just did not want, especially content-wise. It was just. Yeah, we were just yeah. reminiscing actually we took a um, photo of us like buying to a donut like the classic kind of photo you see like all over Instagram like girls in their heels in their, in their like sparkly bikinis yeah. biting into a like massive donut but we took ours like outside my flat well like inside outside inside the outside hallway. my flat but inside the hallway yeah under like orange lighting with a very shitty camera <laughs> It's just like not ideal. Next time we'll compete together, we'll get another one. Anyways, we'll catch you guys hopefully inside. Apparently, you can't film inside. Date, guys. I'm really hungry, so um, meal two. <laughs> okay, Go. guys. So attempt two. Last episode, I couldn't do it after like ten attempts. Um, so we're gonna try again. Hopefully, by the end of prep, I'm gonna be a master at this. <laughs> <laughs> Chen Yang, the master. Now, if you open it, it's gonna go everywhere. No, that's what happened at home. So. Okay. I swear this is harder than the um, bottle flip. I don't care how people do it. I can't even do it with one hand, guys. I'm literally the sweet. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Hill three. <laughs> that looks so beautiful. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Thank you. <laughs> Can we have here? Oh, How was it, Millie? It was mm -hmm. so much fun. So, so much fun, but exhausting. Like, unless you ever <laughs> stick your bomb out permanently. Oh. Canal. Jesus. Over, oh, let's God. just take your bum out for a really long time. You wouldn't understand. Yeah. You'll never know how much it hurts. Literally. But it was so good, and we're gonna go and eat good and have a good time. It was so lovely seeing her on stage, and like, especially seeing like, I don't know, following the whole prep. I think that's the beauty yeah. of like social media, like. I, we share so much with them, but like yeah. watching yeah. someone's yeah. prep and then seeing them on also, stage, it's like, no worries, it's so cute. Also, having this one to ask all my dumb questions to has been really, really useful, so... <laughs> oh, thank you very much! You both should be so proud. Appreciate you okay. so much. <laughs> See you! Love Everyone's you, here, I swear, this show. So yeah, the other thing is the community aspect. It is. There's so many people here. It helps, honestly, it's like, I have to say, Having community makes prep like 10 times easier. Like it's really shit, yeah. but it just makes it a little shitty because a little less shitty because you're like all struggling together. And it's like, oh, I fucking hate this thing, must I love it? And, if so, and another girl's like, yeah, me too. Like I almost cried the other day. And you're like, yeah. I know. Like the fact that I get to go and eat now, and she is on prep. And she I got my chicken and zucchini. <laughs> it's it's the circle of life. If yeah. You know what I mean, because ne maybe next time, like I'm having an off season, then someone else is gonna be prepping, and it's just how. It works, right? And it's nice we all get each other. We're not gonna like feel bad for eating like we'll something like this from each other. Oh my god, vlog camera inception. Vlog inception. <laughs> go like, subscribe to each other's channel. Yeah, go subscribe to I'm gonna put like a little card. Love. Put a little yeah. card for Chen Yang's channel. Subscribe. But yeah. Anyways, we're gonna head off now. I yeah, need to go and eat. Right, you go pee and I'm then we'll pee. go and eat. And then yeah, we're gonna go celebrate. First bite of the donut. Like, I'm about to bite into this. I'm so excited. She's gonna orgasm, guys. Just watch her face. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. It just tastes right? different, doesn't it? It's a different spot. <laughs> no, I didn't get enough lotus. Oh, no. Squeeze it through. It's so satisfying watching people eat. Now I see why people like proper jobs just to. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the rest for when I get back. 
Wow, that's some self control. Wow, that is self control. <laughs> I would have just <laughs> chucked it down. Okay, guys, so we have finally arrived at Verico and it's 8 37. I always like update with the time, not that you guys really care what the fuck the time is right now. But Alia has just ordered fries and nuggets. Um, and then we have a lovely burger here for me. Oh, camera on camera again. This is what happens when you go out with vloggers. It's just cameras and um, I'm here with my last meal. I'm so freaking excited about this guys I was so hungry and I was like I cannot wait to just pop open a Coke Zero <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm having. I'm just gonna watch these lovely girls enjoy their meal And then we'll probably call it a night here. I've got check-ins tomorrow, so that's exciting <laughs> This is off season. This is like big, medium. Just watching a vlog whilst I'm still vlogging. I'll show you guys a close up actually. I feel people just love seeing what people eat. So, this is her. What what burger did you order? So, this is a buffalo chicken burger. Yeah, oh, this is half and half fries, a garlic dip. Good choice. And this is a banana caramel shake. Lovely, and what is I that? I have these like uh, vegan nuggets. A half nice. Half half fries, a lot of potato and yeah. potato. Oreo milkshake, this is so good. Like actually better than I thought it would be. I so bet yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 10, 10 would recommend. It's not focusing, it's zero, <laughs> zero sugar. Ready? Oh, let's listen to that crack of the can. Crack? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes, that is orgasmic. Cheers. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next morning now. It's Monday the 7th of June and I thought I'd just pop in to wrap up the vlog essentially. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along this weekend. I couldn't actually film the show for you guys because people were getting their cameras taken off and security was being quite strict. I guess like fair enough because people have paid for the show I guess um so they probably just didn't want us like filming everything and then like I don't know like releasing it on YouTube but anyways like it was such a lovely show it was so nice seeing everyone on stage we then went out to burger and co which you would have seen um and that's this like really nice vegan burger joint I think it's a joint I'm not sure it's like a burger place and I went I think just before lockdown around December I think it was last year and honestly like I'm not a massive burger fan um, but vegan burgers are something that I do really enjoy. Like, I think it's so much better than normal burgers. I don't know what it is, but it's like, they just have so much more flavor in them. And burger is definitely one of my favorite, like, vegan burger joints. So yeah, we're definitely gonna make another visit there once I'm done with my shows as well. And it was so nice because, like, I don't know, like, when I go out with, say, friends who don't bodybuild or just, like, yeah, people who don't really understand, they end up feeling really guilty for the fact that I can't eat or like I'm not ordering or drinking anything and it's like well when I'm on prep like obviously I can't and you know they don't end up like ordering as much or they continuously just like apologize and I totally understand where it comes from because it's obviously a bit weird to them they probably feel guilty for eating in front of me but it was so nice just being able to go out with a group of people who kind of understand and they're like yeah you're on prep like go eat your chicken zucchini i'm gonna order a nice burger and fries and i'm just gonna eat it in front of you because like it genuinely makes me feel bad when people apologize and i don't know like there's been so many instances like during last purpose as well where i realized a lot of my i guess like normal friends outside of bodybuilding stopped inviting me to things because I don't know just because I couldn't eat or drink and it's like well I'm not there for the food like obviously I enjoy food obviously I like going to different places and trying out their menus but like there's a time and place for that and when I'm on prep obviously I can't do that but that doesn't mean I wouldn't want to come or like I would feel bad for like coming just to sit and like socialize because like at the end of the day it's about spending quality time with your friends and people you like you like you enjoy hang out with right it was so nice going to burger and just like me ordering my diet coke i was actually so hungry so that diet coke like the bubbles really like filled me up um but it was nice just like being able to sit down and be like hey, i'm just gonna grab my diet coke you guys like please enjoy your food and it was so nice just seeing them enjoy their food as well but yeah it was such a nice day and also like i wanted to say before i wrap this up thank you guys so much for your support like i didn't even realize that i had hit 10k like that was a goal for a while and in the uber the video um cut me off because my storage was full but i was like oh guys like you know like get me to 10k and ali was like 
girl, you've reached 10K this morning. Like, I checked and I was like, oh my god, I didn't even look. Like, I had no idea. Um, so I just wanted to say, like, thank you guys so much for your support. It honestly means the world. Um, you, I swear this happens in every vlog of mine. I start talking and a siren has to just, I don't know, police car or an ambulance has to drive by outside. Where was I? Where was I? What was I saying? Oh, I was saying, thank you guys so much. Like, I started this channel last prep i think it's like june so it's been like a year and a bit and i can't believe we've managed to hit 10k like it's honestly like it blows my mind and i just hope for like those of you who are following my journey that it inspires you to just go and like pursue your dreams like i don't know go do some crazy shit do whatever you want if you did like this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and yeah i will catch you guys in my next vlog i don't have much planned this week to be fair like prep wise there's no changes so far like i had my check-in this morning and everything is just staying the same thank god because i'm like i don't want my food reduced anymore i don't know where you can take out more food i mean i know where you could but ideally i don't want my coach touching my food anymore <laughs> it was a good check-in he said like essentially we only have like three to four kgs left to lose we still have eight weeks so if i can drop another like 0.6 kgs this week it puts us in a really great place um just to kind of ease into show so let's hope on friday's chicken that um everything goes as to plan because five times 40 minutes of cardio is getting a bit boring like <laughs> like the adrenaline has left me and i'm no longer looking forward to these sessions like i'm not going to complain because obviously i've signed this up to this myself and like no one is forcing me to do this but yeah it hits 20 minute mark and i'm like halfway there and then 30 minutes and i'm like i'm bored um so i'm hoping 40 minutes will be the cap for this prep like hopefully nothing else more um but yeah i will keep you guys updated obviously and i will see you guys very soon in the next vlog before then have a lovely week have a freaking awesome night or day wherever you are and yeah see you later